that's really one of the questions. I just wish there was a manual for fathers. Well, the first thing is uh, get ready to not sleep. Certainly, I would, I mean, everyone would tell you being a father is such a huge blessing. Uh, raising three daughters uh, was obviously the greatest thing ever, right? There's always something different. There's always something um, coming just as you think you figured out, like, how to navigate being a dad and how to care for your kid and how to teach him or train him. You get into a new stage of life and then you're learning it all over again. So, like, you're never going to know everything and you're never going to have it all figured out and you're never going to be ready and it's okay. Uh, I think that's probably the, the best advice that, that I, could, I could give to a new dad. Like, it, it's okay not to be ready. Thank God as becoming a Christian, I learned that God loves us unconditionally. And I've learned to mirror that, try to mirror that into, my, into the lives of my children. Well, the hardest thing about being a dad is actually when they're a little bit older. Um, you, you really need to help your children develop relationships with other people, because you're not always going to be the uh, most important thing in their life. You're not going to be the savior of all their problems, um, developing relationships within the church community um, has been, is, is incredibly important. It has been a challenge. There's ups and downs. They don't always follow what you did. But I look back in the past on my lifestyle. God has taken me out of the muck and the mire that I was in, and I realized that God can do that for my children. There's nothing I can do to, to save them, right? And, and that, that's a scary thing, that kind of hurts. So I, I have to put that trust in God that like, he's going to, he's gonna be there, he's gonna speak to them, he's gonna call them. And, and just, just not knowing like, I don't know, not knowing like how they're gonna turn out, like what are they gonna be like when they grow up, how are they gonna navigate? All that. that, that's been the hardest thing for me. The biggest blessing to me is watching our daughters have their own relationship with the Lord, uh, being involved in their church communities. And so living that while they were younger was actually a blessing to me. Um, it gave me uh, what I needed to kind of stay on track and keep going and follow the Lord's will. He has taught me to be more selfless. Um, before having kids, even even you know after getting married, like I still had a lot of time that was just kind of my own to kind of do whatever I wanted. Uh, and you know, my wife and I, like we both are fairly independent people. We kind of do our own things and, and have our own hobbies and things like that and, and are fairly introverted as well. But like having kids, like a lot of your time and energy is, is is um, taken up by caring for them and teaching them and training them and, and spending time with them. And so like God has taught me a lot to be less selfish, to be more selfless. And I've learned over time that no matter how bad we sin or how far we fall away from God, that God loves us and God will accept us into his kingdom. And I've seen that happen to my children quite often where they've fallen by the wayside and the greatest joy I have right now is to see my children following the footsteps of the teachings that has been imparted to them.